Whoa, I've always wanted to be an astronaut. Ouch, that hurt. Hey, what's going on dudes? It's Mitch, or Beijing Canadian here with Nacho back on Planet Naturoid. And we are here for the 12th mod showcase in this series. And we've got to add another beautiful sign to our board of mods that we've completed. And let's go ahead and do so. And this 12th mod, as you can tell by the title, is the Elemental Creepers. And I don't have enough space, so we're going to call it Ellie Creepies. I like that. I know I could have wrote Creepers, but I didn't want to. <laughs> and this one was suggested by a couple of you, but the first comment that caught my eye was Rin Kagamine. Or Kagamine. Kagamamanimanimanama. <laughs> no hate. I'm sorry. I, I, I can pronounce it things sometimes. But yes, thank you so much, Rin, for the suggestion, as well as everyone else who commented the Elemental Creepers mod. And um, that's really going to do it for here. I hope you guys will enjoy this mod showcase. And of course, if it does make you laugh or smile, remember to smack that like button and let Nacho and I know in the comments what mod we should review next time. And we will be looking through those soon enough. So I will talk to you dudes on the other side. So we've made it everybody, we are here in the Lucky Block throne room, Nacho and I are prepared to, well, scout underneath this big old throne and what are we gonna find here in this chest? That's right, it is full of delightful creeper eggs because we are of course covering a lot more creepers today and uh, like I said, this mod is essentially a reboot of the elemental creepers but there are some new guys in here and some cool things to check out so I'm just gonna go ahead and dive right into it by um, letting you know, oh gosh, please, please be gentle, be gentle. Little Nacho's here, he's an innocent pup. <laughs> this creeper just stumbled into the throne room. I don't know what he's thinking, that's crazy. Um, so I'm gonna start off by saying that I am actually gonna be reading the descriptions for these creepers pretty much directly off of the site, word for word, because I love the author's descriptions for these things. It's super funny and uh, clever little one-liners. So let's go ahead and start um, by, well, before we start, let's be smart about this and grab ourselves a set of diamond armor and a lovely stack of steak and now game mode s scoop this stuff up put it on because i don't want to die but i do want to be able to share with you all of these awesome new creepers so the very first one here in my hand is the spawn a fire creeper egg and this is a dastardly little fellow that spews fire when it explodes and they also love to swim in lava um so i don't have any lava for him to swim in but that's basically a translation of saying these dudes will spawn and appear and be all over lava in your world so be very careful about that let's go ahead and put him in and uh, you could explode on me baby Oh gosh, fire everywhere! Good thing I got water. <laughs> Look at the fire he just spat all over the map here. That is nuts. That is absolutely wild. Um, so yeah, if you see a fire creeper, you're definitely going to want to keep your distance. and um, Or, hopefully, you'll see his friend, or adversary in this case, his arch rival here, the nemesis, the water creeper. And this guy just spills water everywhere and uh, is pretty inconsiderate about it, as the mod creator, the author, said. So come here, you. Be really inconsiderate and put water everywhere. Thanks. That was actually incredibly considerate because I needed you to out the fire. Thank you so much, Water Creeper. Really appreciate that. It's very thoughtful. Very thoughtful of you. <laughs> All right, so here we are in this big castle world, and uh, we're ready for the third creeper, the electric creeper. Boom, baby. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. And uh, water, water, electricity, they don't mix. Don't do it. Oh, gosh. Uh, lightning just struck. That's no good. I think we might need to do another one of those to, to get a better angle of it because some think this creep may have once been Thor's pet or at least his punching bag because as you saw, a lightning strike came down from the heavens just like Thor would have done. And uh, let's go ahead and grab another electric creeper because they're pretty cool. Electric creep. We'll grab two of these and we'll put two and then survival. Two more. So we got four of them. Stay back, you! Stay back, you scoundrels! Oh god, I'm getting struck by lightning! Ah! <laughs> so we did have some thunderbolts come down from the skies there. So that is pretty wild with the electric creepers. Really like those guys. And up next is the earth creeper. Whoa, that's the cookie creeper. That's not what I wanted. Where's the earth creeper? Ah, here he is. He's hiding from me. <laughs> and uh, the earth creeper, well, he likes to fill your inventory with something dirty that you probably have a ton of anyways. And, uh, well, here we go. He's going to give us a bunch of dirt. Oh my gosh! 
Thanks. <laughs> Just what the doctor ordered. He made a mess of this poor castle's welcoming area. The fountains, the beautiful little pools. He just put dirt everywhere. He took a big poop. That's what he did. He's like, I'm going to spread my cheeks. I'm going to explode and put poop all over your map, Mitch. That's what I'm going to do. Thanks. Appreciate it. <laughs> Up next, though, we have the, where is it? The reverse creeper. And everything in the world seems down to him. So he'll put it all right side up from his perspective at least. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring this dude over to the hot air balloon where we'll give it a test out. And hey baby, hey reverse creepy creep. Oh, what the heck did he do? <laughs> he reversed everything on us. This is so weird. Our hot air balloon is inverted. Look at that thing. <laughs> well, only part of it, at least. Most of it survived up there, but that is so weird but cool. You could end up creating some really unique and interesting looking structures by detonating those guys in the, in the right or, I guess, wrong spots, depending on how you look at it. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, I need to get back up here, please. Dirt mountains. Out of my way. Actually, I need this. I need these. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I need one more. I'm going to jump on a dirt tree. Uh, and I'm back. I <laughs> made it back to where I want to be. So after the reverse creeper, I would like to share with you the d d d d d d the ice creeper. And uh, the ice creeper, well, as you can guess, wants everything to be a lovely winter wonderland. <laughs> so let's go ahead and see what happens if we throw him down here. Hey, little ice creeper creep, you're gonna turn this into Canada, aren't you? Oh, that's so thoughtful of you. Here we are in my favorite place in the planet. Canada. <laughs> Snow everywhere. Nice and cold. The great white north. Beautiful. Thank you, Ice Creeper, for uh, decorating this castle with the only thing it was really missing, which was lots and lots of snow and ice. Thank you. <laughs> Up next is going to be the Light Creeper. And the Light Creeper, um, he will quote unquote surely brighten up your day. Um, uh oh. Uh oh. He put glowstone everywhere. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. See, a lot of these guys are relatively friendly. They don't actually deal damage, as you see. Um, they just do really weird things like this, which is cool. I really like it. It's a cool twist on creepers, because instead of running away from them, there's certain situations where you're going to want them to blow up on you, and you're going to welcome them with open arms and say, get over here, creepy creep, and uh, show me what you got. And up next is the dark creeper. He's going to bring us into a world of darkness, and if it's during the day, well... He will unfortunately burn, but he didn't burn there because he blew up right away and um, he took out any of my light sources. So I think he blew up some glowstone or something that was nearby as you saw the, uh, the glowstone dust come out of him uh, or out of the ground or the wall or wherever that was from. But he'll knock out any light sources you have around. So you got to be careful if those dudes show up in a cave because they'll make it super dark and spooky and then more mobs will spawn on you and you're going to have a bad time. <laughs> up next though is... The kooky creepy creep. And, um, well, um, he does the exact opposite of the cookie monster. He's going to put cookies. Thank you. I needed these. Appreciate it. Thanks, kooky creeper. <laughs> so the uh, it says it right here on the website that he does the opposite of it, and he makes cookies appear instead of eating them. Um, well, cookie monster no longer exists on Sesame Street. Uh, I'm sorry to the author of this post and this mod. Cookie monster is now the vegetable monster, and he loves his carrots and um, mostly his carrots, yeah. He eats other veggies, but pretty much he devours carrots 24-7 like a complete machine, which is really weird. I mean, I know it's about promoting good family and healthy values, but I like the cookie monster. I miss him. <laughs> up next is the illusion creeper, which is right here. I'm just going to scoop up a few more of these dudes. And good. All right, illusion creeper. And what the illusion creeper's description is, is all he does is hang out with himself. Um, all right, let's see what happens. Show me your illusions. Well, that was weird. Okay. I'm, I wish I had a webcam on right now. I'm having one of those moments where I'm just cupping my face with my hand and just don't really know what to say. Uh, we're going we're gonna to try another one of those. Uh, illusion creeper, you want to cooperate and show me what you're going to do? Put a bunch of them in. Game modes. Illusions. Oh, well, <laughs> well, that's enough of the illusion creepers. They clearly don't want to uh, cooperate. Boing. All right, so they just jump up really high and, well, moon shoe style kangaroo boots and, and explode like a pretty normal creeper, to tell you the truth. Um, regardless of that, let's move right along and check out the magma creeper. 
And this guy likes to play with certain hot liquids and dislikes a cool one. So, Magma Creeper. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He's going to put lava everywhere. <laughs> that ain't good. I saw that coming. You can't fool me, Elemental Creepers. You can't fool the bench. All right. The next one on the list is going to be... I hope we have him in here. The... D -d 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 Oh, I, I hovered right over it. The Psychic Creeper. And this guy can't really read your palm when you're in the air now, can he? All right. Well, here we go. Psychic Creeper. Oh, gosh! Good thing I got these water fountains to land on. <laughs> so he's not actually trying to read your mind or predict the future or anything crazy like that. He just knocks you super high in the air. Get away from me. Get away. Get away. Uh-oh. This guy's got a lot of weird-looking feet. Stay back. Oh, no! It's the spider creeper! And he put webs everywhere! I wasn't ready for you! Psych, I was. <laughs> Get what I did there? Because I just did the psychic creeper first. I'm so good at jokes. The best, the best around! Yeah, so as you saw, the spider creeper puts poison on me, and it sucks a lot. And not only does he put poison on me, he also puts a bunch of cobwebs everywhere and makes a mess of your place, so... Oh well, it happens though. It happens. And he looks really weird with his six six little nubs. <laughs> um, up next is going to be the Stone Creeper, which is right here. And this guy is described as, well, someone who doesn't like stone despite being made of it. And here comes the ah -ha 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 funny pun moment. He must have had a really rocky upbringing. All right, let's see it. What you going to do, huh, Saga? Oh no! Ah! He wrecked all my designs here in the well! Why'd you have to do that to my poor unsuspecting stone, you jerk? So that's what he does, he breaks stone and... Ugh. It's gotta just ruin my day like that. <laughs> the next creeper on the list is the Friendly Creeper. And this dude, well... Uh... <laughs> is described as, ah, look at them with their little heart. And they can have babies? How can I get one? Wait, what? They're cannibals? I'm somewhat okay with this. I really have not the slightest clue what's about to happen. I purposely didn't test out all these creepers because I wanted to be just as shocked as you dudes when you watch this. So the friendly creeper apparently isn't all that friendly. So what's it going to do? Hey, you look pink and really nice. That's it? You're just going to explode? Well, that was weird. All right, well, he's pink and he's labeled as a baby maker and cannibal but he didn't do none of that so i'm okay with it thanks i didn't have to see any weird mutant baby creepers that would have been awful <laughs> that would have been a nightmare an absolute nightmare all righty the next one is going to be the wind creepy creep and the wind creeper runs like the wind and blows like a hurricane what's so funny all right let's find oh god he's speedy he's speedy he's speedy oh and he just pushes me away like that okay so he has a little bit of knockback oh skeleton why you gotta do this this is not your moment Maybe I'll review a Mutant Skeleton mod or a More Skellies mod or something, but this is not your time to shine. The Creepers have the floor. Get out of here. Good. Took care of that one. Don't ever, don't ever show your face in the daylight again. <laughs> you burnt, Skelly. You burnt to a crisp. Up next, though, is the Ender Creepy Creep, which is right here. And the Ender Creeper says, I can faintly hear a wolf. Sounds like it's in dire danger. Very funny because dire wolf and stuff. All right, well, oh, where'd he go? Oh, no. Did he just hunt down Nacho? Nacho, I'm coming, buddy. Oh, boy. Please, please tell me Nacho's okay. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. This isn't good. This is not good. Not good, not good, not good. Not good, not good, not good. All right, little buddy. I'm coming to check on you. Maybe he's going to be safe. Maybe he won't. I don't know. Please, little Nacho. Be okay. I left him here. Oh, and there's another Skelly. Oh, thank goodness. He's okay. Not only is that, he's angry. He's fed up with this skeleton. Me too. Kick his butt. Go, Nacho. Get him. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't hurt him. Oh, he almost hurt my little Nacho. I saved you. Don't worry, buddy. Your cybernetics won't have to recharge their batteries today. I got you covered. <laughs> now I'm going to eat myself some steak. And we will move on to the final set of creepy creeps here. And we've got, uh, up next is actually the solar creeper, which is described as poor little Bobby. Here was, I think it's supposed to say he, he was mocked by how small his explosions are and how his hat looks stupid. Boy, did he get really angry during lunchtime. I have a very good feeling that because the sun is out and it is just about noon, aka lunchtime, this guy's going to make a really big bang. And hello there, solar creeper. Oh, wow, he's angry. He's really, really angry. 
Wow, he's hangry too because it's lunchtime. He got real hungry and exploded everything. He killed me and had full diamond armor on. He still wrecked my day. That's awful. Well done, Solar Creeper. That's the last time I mess with you during the daylight. Maybe at night you're not quite as strong. But that's okay because I'm going to have to jump in creative here and uh, grab myself a new set of diamond armor. And here we go. Just toss this stuff out on the flow. Everybody do the dinosaur because we got a couple left. We got the hydrogen creeper. And we've got the Firework Creeper. Oh, not the Fire Creeper. The f hey, get away. Firework Creeper. And we've got the Cake Creeper. So that is just about going to wrap this bad boy mod up after I test out these final few here. So let's go ahead and do the Hydrogen Creeper, which says, Run, just run. If he doesn't beat you to the ground, he'll burn you or poison you. Run. Great. I'm excited for this one. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, God. Oh my gosh, that wasn't so nice. Holy smokes. Now we got weird dark creepers here burning during the day. I gotta get back over here to this loot. I want my stuff back. You're gonna give me my stuff back right now, hydrogen creeper. What the heck, that was nuts. And I'm guessing if I was farther away, it would have still inflicted things on me like poison and stuff, which is just terrifying. All right, well, we're gonna move on to the last two, which are a little friendlier and more fun. We'll put these pantaloons on at least. And uh, we have got the Firework Creeper, and this guy sure does love fireworks, so much so that he'll share joy with those around him. Please do, share some joy. Oh, look at a multicolor cube. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Share the joy! Woo! Uh-oh, I'm a firework. I was, I was, oh my gosh. I was almost a firework. I'm gonna have to light that baby off again without blocks above my head. Let's get it to the surface. Get to the chopper. <laughs> and here we go. And before we do that though, we will do the cake creeper and just wrap this one off by saying every day is a cake day with this guy and I like myself some cake. Oh, thanks, that's so tasty. Very kind of you. And game mode creative. And we're gonna grab ourselves some more firework creepers, light off a few of them, and game mode S. And let's have some fun! Woo! Oh. I got to ride a firework. I'm gonna dismount this one right away. Quick, good, now I wanna watch it. Oh, that's so beautiful, Creeper Face is in it. So that is just about gonna wrap this mod up. I hope you all enjoyed watching, and of course, if you did, please smack that like button which board. Let's see if we can get to 10,000 likes today on this showcase. That would mean a lot. And other than that, I will speak with you all later. And of course, like I said at the very beginning, let me know in the comments what mods Nacho and I should review next time. And other than that, I will speak with you all soon enough. I hope you enjoyed. And now I'm repeating myself and rambling like a typical Bajan Canadian Jagwood. And slurp my udders. I will talk to you soon. Goodbye.